Well, when he gets it all right, he's going to be good, <laughs> isn't he? Came out after the interval, never missed a ball. And apparently his brother texted uh, or tweeted that he'd put a little Take bit of oil quickly, on his elbow please. at the half-time. Frame three, Judd Trump to break. So the quality of this match, we did expect. And boy, have we got it. Robertson's got to be very careful now. OK, you can't lose... A, Sorry, you can't win a match in the first session, but boy, you can lose it. He's just got to hang on to him this session. Doesn't matter if he came out of this session 5-3 at this stage. Obviously, he can still win 6-2 the session, but at this stage, you've just got to get a foothold in the match. Judd's family delighted the way things are going at the moment there's his dad Steve and his mother Georgina sitting there watching and with earpieces as well commentary is good isn't it <laughs> and they're the the brothers and that in the back brother Jack in the back and a lot of close friends and family he started exceptionally well yes must be exceptionally proud come through all the junior events seen him as a young man progressing and there he is 22 years of age, semi-final of the UK. Well, we can call him a prospect anymore, can we? He's already here. Yes, I've had the pleasure of knowing him since he was 12. I used to come and play in all the junior tournaments that my brother used to put on. My late brother Malcolm used to put loads of junior tournaments on and everybody, they all used to come to the club and play. And, and my late brother Malcolm said, one day this guy's going to be world champion. OK, he may not be, but... He's certainly got every chance. Now, have you ever seen this pot success rate after two frames of snooker? I haven't. <laughs> yes, long pot's not bad either. <laughs> and um, there might be another one coming along. Oh, he's 100% of the rest. Uh, any room for improvement there, do you think? <laughs> You can get through to this, but as you can see, no colour. I suppose the best he could ask for here is if he cannon into the pink. And try and free the pink. One. See, the thing is, he couldn't play that hard because the arc would have, would have arced and stayed right down this end of the table. So you have to play it. In fairness, he could have got away with it playing it a little bit firmer than that, but he was never going to get the cue ball top side of the blue. Yes, and of course, once again, Willie, with the new cloth being put on today and, you know, bed cloth and cushion cloth, the cushion cloth sometimes traps the white a little bit so it doesn't come up the table, so he couldn't really hit it much harder than that. Neil Robertson. Yes, we talk about having to settle in a match. Robertson had a body blow. I go back to the shot when he tried to win the yellow in play and snook it himself. He was on 60 at the time, looked in control, looked like pinching the frame. Since then, White. entitled to, to be honest, looked a little bit shaky. He's blessed with a wonderful temperament, Neil Robertson. He's going to need it today. Well, this is an advanced safety shot. He's already looking as if he can get onto the red, just to the right of the black. Three-quarter ball to play the cannon away, the red from the black. Yeah, Brown's a natural angle here. Screw this round with right-hand side. Might be a little bit low, this. Knew full well that he had the other red, if he, he was. But it's going to be Five. tricky here, bridging over the other ball. Yes, you can have a little bit of evens of colour here, John, if you want. It might be one of those where you just have to birdie the red and just play safe up to the blue. It's definitely worth doing that. Yeah. Well, he feels he can get out the way he put his hand there. He feels he can get out towards the pink spot area, which means he might be trying to get on the green to pot it. <coughs> Goodness me. I'm thinking I want to go at the long green, surely. 
Thank you. Well, it's Thanks. very easy to run up to the blue. <laughs> Will he play the green? Different uh, game to what we used to play. A very dangerous. I mean, when you've got a man. That, oh, oh but the, way, the run of the ball's not changed, that's for certain. <laughs> I would never question his shot, uh, shot selection because he's played fabulous, but you've got a man on the rack at the moment. Why give him a chance to get back in? If he was 2-0 behind, I could, I, I, yeah, I, wouldn't, I could say that's the right shot, but not 2-0 in front. I knew his pot success had dropped. shot there but once again doesn't look like he's on anything although I don't know whether he can just sneak behind the blue there if he can get that nestled in behind it'll make a difference Neil Robertson one Two cushions at pace, trying to hit the loose red. Foul and a miss. Neil Robertson, four. And we could be here for a while if he plays the same shot again, because I don't think he can hit this red without putting checks on on the cue ball. If he's going to play the same shot, he's got to pull a little bit of left-hand side, so when it hits this second cushion, it squares up. Because if he plays it plain ball, we've already seen what happens, it goes in between pink and red. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this time he's got a little bit of check on. No, he hasn't, he's played it plain ball again. Oh, and a miss. Neil Robertson. Well, John, the angle's not there, is it, play, plain ball? No, he keeps playing it that way. It's uh, going to keep going through the gap. Yeah, we've got a chance to show you what check side happens here. Here you see him putting left-hand side of the ball. Now just watch him hit the ball here when he hits the cushion. Foul. And a miss. Here Robertson. Six. So he's played that with check side. There you see that side happening. Meantime, he did have another go at it without check side again, and this time caught the pink. So the, it was important to show you what, what happens with the check side there, the way it squares up. And of course the shot he's just played is playing ball again. I think you've got to almost persevere, John, because I can't see an easy safety shot here. No, the yeah. problem he's got here, of course, is there's no red he can drop onto. You can't see the two reds on the right-hand side. You can't play down the table and drop on the one that's near the black spot. So he's got to tr keep playing this. It's probably worth yeah. playing it. And he's decided to play the red that's near the pink this time. He's changed his choice of shot so he doesn't have to check it, but it's worth it's worth a persevering. You have to keep playing this because otherwise you could throw the frame away. I can't remember what the record is for points against, but this could get very close. Foul and a miss. Neil Robertson, four. I well, miss Q, but Neil will come and have a look at this, and if there's uh, nothing he likes, he'll be going straight back there, Judd. I remember commentating on a match with Mark King and Stephen Lee. There was 48 points on the board before anyone had potted the ball consecutively. Well, this is his sixth attempt. So he's given five four-point penalties away. Well, I think he hit the pink on one of them. So he's persevering with that one next to the pink. Foul and a miss. Now, this may look dangerous, the fact that he's given... 
it's a lot easier to give the